Hi, this is Randall here in Texas. And I'm Matt here in Michigan. Today, Randall and I are taking a look at a 1976 film, The Gumball Rally. It stars Michael Sarazen, Norman Burton, Tim McIntyre, Raul Julia, Gary Busey, and Nicholas Pryor. It is directed by Charles Chuck Bale, who also directed episodes of Dragnet, Knight Rider, and Chips. The Gumball Rally has one very simple premise. It is a illegal race across the country, the United States from New York all the way to Los Angeles, a la Cannonball Run, but we'll get into that in a little bit. It is unknown exactly what the actual budget of this film is, but it was reported to be less than $1 million, um, and it probably made that budget back, actually, but again, those figures are kind of hard to find out. It is the real-life inspiration for the United States Gumball Rally, as well as the International Gumball 3000 Rally. It is also inspired by the Sea to Shining Sea Cannonball Run, uh, which has a film or two of its own. It is definitely a fun car movie, in my opinion, but I've seen it a lot, and I'm a very big car fan, so I want to go right to Matt and be like, Matt, you've only seen it a couple of times. What are your thoughts on the Gumball Rally? Yeah, this is on my second time watching it, and the first time was some, um, I don't know, 15 or so years ago. This is definitely an entertaining movie for sure. I'm not a big car buff, so I'm not just taken in by as much as the flashy, but I do appreciate the classic cars that we do see in this film, or I should say classic automobiles and motorcycle that we see in this film. But yes, this is definitely an entertaining movie to watch. It's not just about the cars. If you're a car fan, this is a fantastic movie for you to watch. I can go and rail off some of the cars in this film, like the AC Cobra that the main team drives and the Ferrari Daytona. And as a Mustang owner and a Ficciano, it pains me to say it, but even the Camaro in this is a bad-ass car. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch, but I'm going to go and just state it right away. My opinion is that this is the best cross-country race film. This is way better than Cannonball Run. If you're a Cannonball Run enthusiast and you haven't seen Gumball Rally, I would say watch it. They're both funny, but Cannonball Run is like all jokes. This has fun spots in it. What's behind me is not important. But the characters are better and there's actual racing. There's cars, real cars. That's the point of this movie. You talk about how funny it is. There's one character who rides the Kawasaki and the ongoing thing through the movie for his character is that he keeps like going off the road and crashing and stuff. So by, you know, near the end, he's all in like tatters and everything in his, his racing outfit and stuff as he tries to finish the rally. We did a very recent review of Mystery Alaska where you pointed out that you can tell that the people who made it are fans of hockey, you know, and very similar you can tell when you watch this film, everyone involved really does like cars. They understand cars. The cars that they choose to include all make sense. Even the little throw in with the Chevy van that's just full of gas. Like that's something that happens in real cannonballing where people are like, all right, we're going to try and cheat the system. Anything we can do, we need speed, but we also need to limit our stops. Like they knew what they were doing. When they put this together but chiefly everyone acts as you expect their characters to act this whole film is set up in the first 15 minutes i mean literally almost right at 15 minutes you have everything you need to know to watch the rest of the film and just enjoy it it's it's very simple i'm not gonna say it's complex or deep but it is entertaining there's good racing in it there's good car stuff in it and Raul Julia as Franco. Franco is ready. The race can begin. Well, that's the thing, too. You're talking about how you basically know everyone in, like, the first 15 minutes. And I think that part of the film is, is that everyone has a certain aspect about them that gets repeated throughout the film. Especially Raul Julia's character. You find out that he's kind of a womanizer. 
that uh, he will stop at any time to uh, to woo the uh, the pretty ladies, and that's something that we see play over and over and over again in this film from that character. So that's one thing I would say. You get to know a certain aspect right about the character, and we see that same thing play out. What gets me the the most about Raul Julia is the, like the per, the the way he's done it. This is almost like his de- depiction of Gomez Adams, except for less you know gothic. <laughs> You know, kind of. You know, he he's in love with women. He's like, some things are more important than winning. But at the same time, he's an Italian race car driver for Team Ferrari. What's he won? Le Mans? What do you mean? What's he ever won? Uh, Le Mans? Grand Prix de Monaco? What does that mean? He's got a fun thing where he, whenever he leaves a woman, he'll leave his scarf with her. And he has other scarves. He just keeps pulling out a couple of new scarves. I'm like... Where's he getting all these scars from? You know, his co-driver um, Smitty, who's uh, McIntyre in this, uh, he he just wants to win. He's just been competing with the other main character in this since high school, and he just isn't good enough to ever beat him. And he just wants to win, and that's his character. It's like, well, fine, I'll just go do it myself then. Everyone plays their parts, and they play them well. I would say one thing as kind of like a not as big of a car enthusiast and stuff. This movie isn't very long. It's like, um, I would say it's like an hour and 40 minutes. I think it's like a hundred and some minutes long. It does kind of feel a little bit longer than that. And I think it's might be because if you're not like really into the cars and driving stuff, the time could feel a little bit longer. But really, they pack a lot into this movie in that time slot. Actually, a lot of funny hijinks and stuff too in this film. It's interesting too. They keep beating like their record but it's amazing with all the different stops that they have, the kind of like detours. We already mentioned like Raul, he stopped to be with like a pretty lady and then somehow he catches back up. How does that happen? She can drive is what he says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a fun uh, movie. And I, again, I don't think it gets enough credit. Um, we've also reviewed another car movie. If you are big into cars, go check out American Graffiti. It's it's a fun movie as well. We have a lot of different flashback reviews to check out. We also post new videos every Monday and Thursday, so make sure to come back and check those out. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a like. If you want to see more, give us a subscribe and ring the bell icon so that way you always know when we're releasing new videos. Also, check us out on Facebook where we will always let you know the day before what we're going to be posting next. For now, I'm Randall here in Texas. See everyone later. Now, Matt, you're Michigan. Have a good day. Next time on No Market Media. Please consider checking out some of our other videos.